Hello everyone, we are back with Land Velvet Reviews today. So I did an unboxing uh, on these just to show you guys what to expect out of the box in case you guys are buying it used or new and you think you're missing parts or you need to look at the instructions or whatever. I just separate them just because I have ADD and I can't pay attention that long. But anyway, now we're going to uh, set these up and we're going to do a performance review in the driveway outside so you guys can really, you know, hear it out in the driveway over here. I'll do a measurement. We'll do some tests and some numbers here. But first, let's wire these up, see how simple they are to wire up. All right, so we're gonna turn these around. Now it's a very simple, you know, wiring going up here. I mean, it's just uh, black to black, red to red. I mean, it doesn't matter the, the color as long as you keep it the same on the other side, but the colors just help with, you know, with remembering what's up here. So we got uh so we hooked up the wires i leave mine i leave my wire long because you know whatever uh but just to let you know i did center line these in the center of you know what's going on these are five feet apart and they are uh roughly five feet away from the edge so that's kind of how i did the center line to know how you know space they are apart for the sound you know evaluation over here all right so this is just going to go in here like this uh, let's see how much power this thing pulls as well because I always like to put numbers in the reviews uh, for you guys so we're gonna uh, let's turn these around first get them plugged get this thing plugged in all right it's blinking blue that means that uh, it's in pairing mode for Bluetooth all right so we're gonna connect it to Bluetooth to uh, to my phone device so we can get some music all right we're gonna try the Bluetooth first on this it's blinking blue it says clips and you're going to connect it to that. So we're going to turn the volume up, like I said, do some measurements and see what's up here. Let's uh, measure some shows. We are running at four watts right now, 3.7, four watts. Let's see if we turn the power up, how much watts we're gonna be pulling off this thing, right? It's really not pulling any watts, you can see. But we're gonna go far back and see what's up and, you know, raise the music up. Now, the only issue is I have no idea what the percentage of the volume is because there is no, like, digital display or anything. You just click on this and it blinks. It doesn't even show you numbers or anything like that, just to let you know. So if you guys want a percentage of a number and stuff like that, what might be easier is you turn this on the max, and then you control it just from your device. Then you can know what the, you know, the percentage of the volume is. But for now, I maxed it out on my phone. This is just going to be a max, you know what I mean? Because if it's light, whatever. And we're going to see how much this can boom and party it up, all right? So, right now we're going to be at the 10 foot mark right here. And that's the sound that you can kind of expect it to be from, you know, 10 feet away. I'm not going to blast it because you're not going to have it this much louder than this really at 10 feet away. This is pretty loud. I'm going to turn it loud though as we get back. So let's go to 20 feet. So this is kind of what 20 feet is going to be like over here. And now I can turn it louder, obviously. I don't want to do this forever because I have tenants, remember? All right, so this is at 30 feet, all right, of, uh, you know, what you can expect the sound to be or whatever. And um, I'm, like I said, mine's like 17 feet, roughly, the width of this uh, driveway, okay? All right, guys, so we are at 40 feet. This is the sound. You can see it is pretty loud. I got the highway and back me, which is really cool. We're going to go back to 50 feet. 
Yeah, so this is 50 feet right here uh, is a good number for you guys to expect because if you guys are going to have a party under a tent or whatever, 50 feet is a good number, you know, 50 foot by 50 foot tent or whatever. But we're going to go back across the street, probably like 60, 70 feet, and, you know, just give you a real idea of how much farther, you know, we can expect this to be. So let me see what's up here. All right, guys, so this is at 70 feet. Okay, so you guys can kind of uh, see what's up here. This is at 70 feet of space, uh, you know, to uh, obviously the speakers or whatever, and the width of my house is a 50 by 100 lot. It's pretty loud, guys. This is pumping, this is loud. Um, I'm hoping eventually if I get, uh, if I get, we can put some Christmas music on for everybody on the highway behind me. That would be cool, but my tenants would probably kill me. Uh, but anyway, this is the sound, I mean, I think it's pretty good. I'm just gonna let it play for a couple of seconds just for you guys can hear that 70 feet and then we'll uh, we'll kind of end it up on there. auxiliary and see the quality difference if you can notice it that's all really i'm going to be using it for i mean between those two you can kind of see the quality i know there's other options on here for you know your tv but i'm not using it for that but at least you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here all right so let's plug this in see if we get this playing playing properly here first let's click it to auxiliary because they do have the auxiliary on here we click on here and it's going to pair green okay now from what i noticed the auxiliary the quality is a little bit lower, but it's a lot louder. So that's the only thing I, I noticed that you kind of have to swap off the quality with the auxiliary, all right? But let's plug it in. All right, it's on. Let me know if you guys can notice the difference in the sound quality, all right? I mean, I know it's a different kind of song, but it's still gonna play and we're just gonna go back. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna do a real quick review and see if it, you know, the quality is different or whatever the case may be, all right? Guys, we're just gonna go 30 back. I'm gonna turn this thing, pop it loud. And let me know if you guys think there is a difference between the auxiliary from the 30 feet line and this one. is a little different but this is at 30 feet i'm not going to go all over the place this is 10 20 30. let me know if you notice the quality difference you think it's a little bit lower we'll leave it for like 10 20 seconds here So then guys, that was the sound from the, uh, from, like I said, with the auxiliary. Let me know if you could hear the difference. I can hear the difference up close. I do not know if you guys can hear the difference on the phone. That's the reason why. Remember, the microphone can only pick up certain stuff uh, that you can hear, you know, compared to your ears or whatever the case may be. Uh, but when the, when the music was pumping and the bass was pumping a lot, guys, this was up to 26 watts, all right? I don't know if that's a lot or a little for speakers. I mean, because I don't test speakers out all the time. And 20, that doesn't sound like a lot of watts to me because... When I work on appliances, you know, I work on things that are a thousand watts, 500 watts, whatever the case may be. So 25 watts is like a joke. That's not really power. So that's not really using that much power. Like I said, at 25, 26, I think it topped out as um, of the wattage when it was pumping the base. And that's when it really goes high is when the base is pumping. That's when I saw it, it was hitting those that 26 you know, watts we got going on there. Uh, but that's it for a little performance review of the speakers. You guys can get a little just of it to see what's going on here, see if it fits you know, what you're looking for or, you know, whatever the case may be and see if it's a value to you. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get over the community, right? 
And if you can, unless you dislike me for any reason, you can support the channel by clicking on the affiliate links below. Somehow, some way, times a million, it equals up into something. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, but when it does, it'll be cool. But from what I saw, there are other ways to support the YouTube channel, which is really cool. And if you do decide to support the channel on YouTube, please make sure you check back to the channel. See that I'm putting that support back into it, getting more stuff to review, doing updates on stuff. Uh, that's breaking I guess and also answering questions to my subscribers that need help on the products that I am reviewing right so everybody enjoy be safe Glenn Velvet reviews is out Bye -bye.